devastating blow tonight for Pakistan. Opposition leader Benazir Bhutto was assassinated today, leaving a political rally. Take a look at the pictures of a former prime minister just moments before she was killed. She left the rally and got into an SUV there. Witnesses said a gunman just walked up to the vehicle and started shooting. The bullets hit Bhutto in the neck and chest. The gunman then blew himself up and killed 20 more people. Angry Bhutto supporters took the streets across Pakistan to protest the killing. Her murder was carried out just 11 days before elections in that country. President Bush condemned the assassination. Those who committed this crime must be brought to justice. The president in Pakistan went on national television. President Musharraf blamed terrorists and called for three days of mourning. The Bhutto killing set off reaction around the world, here in Chicago as well. CBS 2's Derek Blakely has a report. In the Pakistani business strip along Devon Avenue, shock and sadness overshadowed commerce today in the wake of Benazir Bhutto's assassination. This is going to damage the integrity of Pakistan. See, if a leader of that stature is not safe in a country, what can you imagine about a normal person, an ordinary person? At Khan's barbecue, all eyes were trained on satellite TV following developments in Pakistan with employees like Azhar Hassan wondering what happens next. Pakistan future is bleak, you know. Budo represented a hope for return to democracy, especially among the poor and the educated middle class. And there's fear now that her death will trigger more violence. I think Pakistani community in Chicago are very much in grief and very much upset. Oak Brook realtor Javed Rathor has known Budo since 1986 when she returned to Pakistan, ending the exile that followed her father's execution. As senior vice president of the Pakistan People's Party in the United States, Rathor met with Budo often throughout the years and last saw her in September. But he doesn't believe elections set for January 8th can now go forward as scheduled. I don't see because it's a turmoil in Pakistan. It's everybody is uh, crying now, whether they belong to a people's party or they belong to any political party. Many in Chicago's Pakistani community are blaming Islamic fundamentalists for Bhutto's death. But they're also suspicious of President Pervez Musharraf because Bhutto was the odds-on favorite to defeat him in the upcoming election. Because of those suspicions, there are now demands for an independent investigation to determine what forces were behind Bhutto's death. Diane, back to you. Thank you, Derek.